The year 2014 radically changed Ukraine. Military operations in the east of the country have shown the incredible courage of the Ukrainian people. Every day, the modern history of Ukraine remembers the names of heroes who stand guard over peace and sovereignty of their country. The history of revival, formation and achievements of the armed forces of Ukraine and Ukrainian law enforcement agencies in this special project, Ukraine in Uniform. The motto of the airborne forces, no one but us, are not just words for the troops of this unit. These men have proven that there is nothing impossible for them. They carried out the longest military raid in world history. When the Donetsk International Airport terminal collapsed, they stood their ground. They heroically liberated cities, pulled their comrades out of the encirclement, and are now protecting their native land from enemy aggression. Who are they? These courageous paratroopers of the legendary 95th Airborne Assault Brigade. Watch next in our program. So he is a hereditary military man. He learned about the peculiarities of the airborne forces from the stories of his relatives. With the outbreak of hostilities in the Donbass, he experienced all the dangers and difficulties of service in the airborne forces. He went to war as a simple soldier and now is a third lieutenant teaching young soldiers about the legendary assault brigade. After I had achieved higher education, this was my conscious choice. My uncle is a paratrooper and my father served in Germany in a reconnaissance unit. My uncle served in Afghanistan as a paratrooper of the 345th separate paratrooper regiment. I grew up on all these films and songs about paratroopers. I wanted to serve in the airborne forces and so it happened. Then, in the summer of 2014, this young man, like many other soldiers of the 95th Brigade, could not even imagine that he would be spoken of as a real hero, who would go down in the books of world military history as a participant of the longest raid. Nobody was thinking of fame back then. These young guys were simply doing their job and carrying out their assigned tasks. A raid. It was a raid. It is impossible to forget a single day of this operation. There was constant intense training in shooting and coming into contact with the enemy. Intense battles and movement were very frequent. I can remember the entire raid from the first battle to the last one, when we were retreating from the battle zone. It is difficult to imagine, but the paratroopers have overcome 400 kilometers. Almost half of their way, they were fighting along the front line destroying enemy roadblocks and strongholds. During the heroic raid, the paratroopers captured and seized a sizable amount of enemy weapons and military equipment. At that point, the task of our brigade was to perform a raid on the border with Russia and rescue our guys who had been surrounded and were under constant fire. Things were tough everywhere where there was ongoing combat. Было тяжело на протяжении всего. То есть везде, где были огневые контакты, там было тяжело. They managed to bring over 3,000 troops to safety, over whom the threat of being surrounded loomed. Of course, the most difficult test for the soldiers was the loss of their brothers in arms. На тот момент, наверное, сейчас я не особо понимал всей картины, которая сложилась. Мы знали, что у нас стоит задача. Нам нужно ее выполнить. At that time and probably even now, I still do not understand the whole picture of what actually happened. Тогда, когда we knew that we had a task and we had to fulfill that task. I realized that it had been war when I saw the losses of my comrades and the local population. 
In any job, in ours as well, the most difficult thing to accept is the loss of human life. This is very difficult, both morally, psychologically and physically. To shoot from different types of small arms accurately, paratroopers hone their marksmanship at a shooting range. Their commanders, who had already taken part in the hostilities in the east of Ukraine, shared their combat experience with the paratroopers. They must operate their weapons masterfully and hit the targets in different situations. That is what matters the most. I believe this will be beneficial in further combat actions in the ATO zone. If a soldier can't do something there, they shoot from the hip on the battlefield, because only then do they understand that if they do not hit their target, then they will take the bullet. Paratroopers are universal soldiers, therefore they must be able to operate all kinds of small weapons. After all, situations happen during battles when soldiers have to replace their comrades. So they must be ready for every and any possible turn of events. Every serviceman of the 95th Brigade has their own history of starting their service in the legendary division. For example, gun layer Ivan Mutituk was a sailor in Crimea before serving in the airborne forces. But the events of 2014 radically changed his life, as well as the lives of many thousands of other inhabitants on the Crimean Peninsula. I served in Crimea before the annexation of the peninsula. I left for the mainland and stayed in Ukraine. Now I serve here, I serve in the Ukrainian army. One must never betray their oath. The commanders explained to the soldiers in detail how to behave during battle, how to choose a position for shooting, how to aim, how to protect themselves from enemy shelling. Here, every word is backed up by combat experience, so the main task of recruits is to learn from their commanders. We enhance our qualifications in marksmanship and as the commanders of a firing support platoon. This is the link that supports and reinforces the assault units. We learn to amaze the enemy's living force and technique. At this training point, we exercise changing rifle magazines in different positions. Servicemen practice this exercise to spend less time on it during battle. In the ATO zone, they must do everything intuitively. So the more they do it at the shooting range, the more efficient they will be on the battlefield in the ATO zone. Чем чаще ее делать на полигоне, тем эффективнее это будет в зоне АТО. The paratroopers trained by their mentor with the call sign SEP do a great job shooting from a machine gun. He is an experienced fighter who has served in the airborne forces for seven years and is proud that the 95th Brigade became its own. Service in the airborne forces for me is my whole life. I've been serving in the 13th Battalion of the 95th Brigade for over 13 years. This unit is like a family for me. When the anti-terrorist operation started, it was the 95th Brigade that was ready for it and that carried out many difficult tasks. That was all because the commanders, officers and sergeants of that time carried out their work honestly, with pride and dignity, to serve their homeland. Сержанти, які були в той час, вони чесно виконували своє свою роботу.
strength, courage, honour. That is the inscription on the badges, the paratroopers of the legendary 95th Airborne Assault Brigade, Airborne Division of Ukraine, wear on their uniform. Every serviceman of this unit knows exactly what meaning these words have for them. Desantnik is the first category. It's the first category. It's the first the paratrooper is the embodiment of courage of the first category, combat training of the first category, morale of the first category, and education also of the first category. A paratrooper is a paratrooper. This is a man who is 100% ready to act in any situation and make any decisions as the circumstances require. Three airborne assault battalions serve under the command of Brigade Commander Colonel Oleg Durovich Hut. In the 95th Brigade, I gave over half of my life to the 95th Brigade. I came here when I was 21, and I've been serving here for 22 years. So it's my home and my family, and everything. It's my home and my family, and everything. It's my home and my home and my family, and everything. Being the commander of such a combat unit is not easy. Here, everything is in sight and everyone is responsible for their actions. The commander must be an example for his soldiers. When the commander is in the front, the soldiers have no questions as to why and where to go. They see that the commander is not hiding in the rear, but stays with them all the time. A great example of a real combat commander for paratroopers is Mikhailo Zabrodsky. It was he who was the commander of the 95th Brigade in 2014, who showed how to perform any of the assigned tasks. This is a model commander, comrade commander. He made all the strong-willed decisions and he made them very fast. He was a true commander, whom people always followed, even on the battlefield. The main staff of the brigade took part in military operations in the east of Ukraine. Almost every second one of them received wounds of varying degrees of severity. Many paratroopers were awarded state awards, and five of them were awarded the highest state award, the Golden Star, two of them posthumously. According to official figures, over 100 people from the brigade died during the war. These are special people who were on the front line, who fought directly with the enemy. That is, they saw the enemy at close range. Those are very worthy people. Those are the best people. They saw it all, but they still did not lose heart, did not lose hope, and kept serving in the armed forces of Ukraine. They stayed in the ranks of the airborne forces and continued to maintain their combat readiness. The heroes of today's program protect the state of Ukraine, its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The Ukrainian army is doing everything so that civilians would not have to take up weapons themselves and to prevent the entire territory of Ukraine from being taken over.